Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Yondercraft. Right now we're in the end because today we're building an Ender Ender. Uh, so I've already got that started in the time lapse, so let's kick it into time lapse mode.
And that would be the end of render. As with all end of renders, it's horrifically loud. But it does work exceptionally well. I already have an Enderman head. I'm gonna let that start dispensing stuff. Um, I'm already almost level 30. One more chop should do it. Yep. Alright, on to the next project. Alright, uh, so. You'll re you might recognize the villager area, half done, you know how it is. Uh, and we're here because I have some uh, rather unfortunate news regarding it. So there is a glitch in Minecraft 1.18 where uh, at random entities will despawn. Why is that there? Even if they should not. So, uh,. Suffered some heavy losses with the toolsmiths, um, and even more distressing, more than half of my librarians are gone. Uh, so, because this is curated, where I repeatedly like traded them up pretty high to make sure that they had decent books, um, we're talking hours of breaking and replacing these uh, lecterns and trading them up to good books, you know, lost, gone. Uh, and we are still in the version where this glitch happens, um, so there won't be any more progress updates on the villagers until this has been patched, confirmed to be patched, etc, etc. Uh, it's not the only entities that we've lost. We lost a, uh, beloved zombie pigman in the boat he was in. We've lost the zombies in farms and, uh, for, uh, curing villagers. Um, somehow we haven't lost any villagers as far as I'm aware in this, uh, setup. 
this uh, building yet. You know, so got all of them in here as far as I can tell. Uh, but these aren't the ones that took hours and hours to do because I wasn't making sure they had like two or three good books. I was looking for the pumpkin trade. And if they had the pumpkin trade, they will always have a melon trade. Uh, and then I just carted them up there. Um, we haven't lost any Fletchers, which are another one where I'm going to be spending a very long time attempting to, uh, curate them because, uh, I'm looking to get a lot of tipped arrows. It's going successfully. I have poison, I have weakness, I have slowness. Uh, but this project is stalled with the exception of maybe some exterior decoration that I was planning to do uh, once I completely finished it because right now this is just a lot of brick and I want to add some more stone to it. Um, so what this does mean is we're going to be working on a lot of projects with regards to uh, my base. Not the exterior this time, I'm generally not in the mood for that. However, there is... There, there are a few projects that I have in progress with regards to my base, and they do actually have a fair bit to do with my mazes. Um, I haven't done a lot of video in the mazes because some of them I want to be dark, and the 3D one uh, with five separate levels that I built over here, um, with the exception of where the lanterns hang to signify that I have another maze branching off there, it's completely dark, uh, which is why I hold the torch. So you guys can see because YouTube compression is horrific. Um, but I have this maze built here. It ends over here. There's no walls right now because I didn't anticipate this cave being here. Um, I'll terraform it. Don't worry. Uh, I think this might actually be under the mountain, in which case... Yes, it is. Good. But we have a maze here. Uh, because I have a project that I want to work on while I wait for 1.18.1. Uh, and it's Cactus Farm. I want to work on getting more dyes. And that means, uh, I need a cactus farm for green. We have white, I have flowers, etc, etc. Right now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and probably do a type of time lapse that I don't oh, typically do because I don't like them. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and get this maze decorated. Uh, this will be the first maze that I decorate because it's the one with the easiest materials, so... Uh, let's kick it into time-lapse mode.
Alright, so, uh, ran out of wood. Lagging pretty bad, apparently. Unless it's just over here. Uh, but the maze is complete. Uh, ready to go. Where? There it is. Um, but as you can see, I definitely did not get enough wood for this. Uh, yeah, it's over here. Uh, so I'll probably finish this off camera. There's gonna be slabs on the ceiling and stuff. It'll look nice. Don't worry about it. Um, if we go over here, I believe I have gone. Yeah, this is the wrong way. It's hard to navigate now that I, uh, can see through part of it, but not the rest of it. Uh, I'll admit this is a little odd for my brain to try to comprehend. Um, I need to clear out a space to make a cactus farm. Um, and instead of time-lapsing that, because we've now had two time-lapses, I think I'm just going to do it. Something like this. Uh, I've added water so I can get up and down because I forgot to bring my ladders. It's not fully excavated. I did build up some walls. Um, we're not going to put the cactus farm in today. Because I don't feel like building a cactus farm today, uh, that would require a lot of supplies that I do not quite have yet. Uh, so we're gonna... Hmm. There's a lot of things I can do. Including go the wrong way because I forget my own maze. Um, I got this nifty little thing for uh, uh, the achievements pack we have. It's nice. I like it. Put it in my uh, cool stuff pack or chest. Um, take y'all through the maze so you can see exactly why no one knows how to get to my stuff. Um, I'm very happy with how this base is turning out, honestly. Uh, it's not quite like I imagined because I keep using torches and lanterns and Optifine's dynamic lighting to get through it. Uh, when in my head I was thinking, hmm, this would be spooky with a redstone torch. Um, I'm not doing that. Whoopsie. Uh, if I do want to light it up, I will... Oh, I have to fill this up real quick. If I have to light it up, I will make... Oh, that's nah, not the right chest. We're gonna... Ah! What the f... Hey! Not cool, bro. This is my house. Um, okay. If I have to light it up, I will use more, uh, lichen. Uh, just because, you know, I, I like this vibe. This is a nice vibe. Uh, so you, you saw the, uh, sort of pattern that we're going for. Um, I've actually been experimenting with Creative Test Worlds, so if, if, if we pop over there for a minute, uh, we can see that I have inspired this by the kind of stuff I built in Minecraft Beta, and it is the Cactus Farm Tunnel. Um, this is what the completed tunnel is going to look like. It's just a sample, five blocks long, but, you know, it looks nice. Um, this is the only peak you're going to get at the other stuff we're going to build. So, yeah, uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, and this does bring us to the end of the episode, because I think I've recorded more footage than I usually do for an episode. Uh, so, if I just... Thank y'all for watching. If you're part of the morning crew, I hope you have a great day. If you're part of the evening crew, I hope your day has been great. And if you're part of the afternoon crew, well, I hope your day is going alright. I've been Ruby Robotic, and I'll catch y'all in the next episode.